This is Wavy Music News. I'm Rebecca Autumn Sansom. If you haven't tuned in before, we do self descriptions of what we look like for our blind and low vision audience members. And we just put on the first ever award show to fully integrate self description for the whole ceremony called the Wavy Awards. Let us not forget that being able to see is a privilege. So, I am a white woman, pronoun she, her, in my 30s with long brown hair with rose gold highlights. I'm wearing a pink and blue floral bomber jacket and I'm sitting behind a clear desk with this um, pink, hot pink tool that was on the lectern for the ladies. <laughs> I'm playing with a fidget spinner. We also believe in the importance of land acknowledgements and we'll be dedicating some time to that on this show as well. I'm in Ithaca, New York, the original land of the Gayagahono, who were here before New York and the U.S. existed. And I acknowledge the painful history of dispossession and honor the ongoing connection of Gayagahono people past and present to these lands and waters. See, one of the things we're dedicated to with all things wavies is doing what we can to advance a consciously evolving society. So everything we do and say has that intention behind it. Intention setting is important. Unless your intention is to gun someone down while they're buying butter cookies. If that's your intention, maybe just, you know, reconsider. Stay home. Don't do any murdering. At least sleep on it, you know? I'm from Tennessee, and my best friend lives in Memphis. And let me tell you, Memphis is reeling after the absolutely senseless murder of young Dolph last week. Binges on me. They don't want you to live. They don't want you to bow. Don't push a smile in your face. Yeah. Then they pray for you to fall. Hey, young nigga, stay focused. But I really want to crash. Think about where you at. Then think about your past. Yeah, I really came from shit. But I won't change for shit. My bitch say I'm stuck in my ways. My wrist say I've been getting paid. Surveillance video has been released of two men wielding massive guns arriving at Makita's Cookies and gunning Dolph down. He was on his way to give out turkeys at a charity event. Makita's homemade butter cookies is closed until further notice, stating he was a good guy who tried to help his community. Young Dolph leaves behind two young children, Trey and Aria, and of course, Mia J who according to her Insta stories still doesn't know how to tell Trey and Ari that her daddy is never coming home. Thankfully, Young Dolph owned all of his masters, so streaming his catalog will help support his family. I just donated to Makita's GoFundMe and encourage you to do the same. You can find links to all of this in the show notes. Our thoughts are with everyone in Memphis who has been traumatized by this act of violence. And look, I didn't even say anything about <gasps> Kofi the Spider-Man is our featured artist this week, and we are excited to hype them because their latest release is out via Wavy teammate Grimalkin Records. Now here's Kofi with more on September 21st. Yo, what's up everybody? This is Kofi Edzi, AKA Kofi the Spider-Man. I'm a black person of mixed ethnicity and I'm also non-binary. I'm currently wearing just a black hoodie. Uh, I have short curly hair. Uh, I'm here to celebrate the release of my newest record, February 21st, which dropped November 12th via Grimalkin Records. The lead single off of that album is called Pinata, and the hook goes a little something like this. Paper, machete, I need to wash my dishes. I might give you stitches cause you need to drop the whole thing. Paper, machete, I need to wash my dishes, I might give you stitches cause you need to drop the whole thing. Paper, machete, I need to wash my dishes, I might give you stitches cause you need to drop the whole thing. Paper, machete, I need to wash my dishes, I might give you stitches cause you need to drop the whole thing. Uh, so that's just a taste of the record. Uh, thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy. Paper, machete. Need to wash my dishes, I might give you stitches Cause you need to drop the whole thing Things got heavy, heavy, heavy Wasn't ready, ready, ready I see the ghost of you, cut me to the core I need
in a few, not any, many more. Love that, Kofi. Paper, machete. Hey, M, are you ready? Paper, machete, yes, Becca, I'm Nate Spaghetti. My name is M the Myth, I'm non-binary, I'm half Hmong and Croatian. I'm wearing a black shirt, a black cross earring on my right ear, and my own merch, a black hat with my logo on it. I have a little scruff on my face too. This month's wavy, worthy mentions go to four spectacular artists from our community. First off, we have the incredible Matt Ellen and Miss Dylan Mars Greenberg from Theophobia, who performed last Saturday at Transcendent, a virtual concert fundraiser for trans women of color. You were right, but you had faded away. You left a note with the Then there's the amazing Milk who just released her music video for Steady As We Go. Milk has pledged for every song off of her upcoming 2022 album to benefit the Somebody's Beloved Fund. Then the ever lovely, lovely Ocean just dropped their music video for Captain Ocean. And we are vibin'. Finally, our last wavy, worthy mention goes to Petra Durar, electro pop songstress, who released their music video, Love Again, this summer. We love it again and again. Thank you all for being wavy worthy. Wow, what talented wavy worthy news from our community this week. Support all of those creations by watching and sharing. If you didn't already know, we partnered with Mike for the Wavies this year, the Music Inclusion Coalition. And I want you to know more about what they're all about. So I asked Nora to come on the show and tell you. Thanks Rebecca, I'm Nora Segura Rapal executive director and co-founder of the Music Inclusion Coalition. I have blue eyes and very curly hair pulled up in a very messy bun. I am wearing a black chunky knit sweater and gold hoops. I am very excited to be partnered with the Wavy Awards. Music Inclusion Coalition is working to create more equity at the collegiate music level so in collegiate music programs across the country through technology advocacy and support. So we're working with high school students to provide them with high quality recording equipment to help them with their college auditions. We're working with colleges to make sure that they are being equitable and inclusive in their practices um, from the audition process all the way through graduation of these students. Um, and we're so excited to be working with the Wavy Awards to try and make a better and more inclusive industry for everyone. Thanks, Nora. I love that we found each other. And I love everything about Mike. Follow them right now to keep up. I know you already follow Scenes from the Underground, right? If you're new to the show and don't know about this music blog, allow me to introduce you to the creatrix of the blog herself, Crystal McRae, in our weekly segment, Quick Picks, where we learn about new releases we think you should know about. Thank you, Rebecca. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Quick Pick Cave. Uh, if we have not yet met, my name is Crystal McRae. I run Scenes from the Underground here in New York City, a site that covers bands in NYC and beyond. Uh, I am five foot three. I'm a black woman, giving you Amazonian energy always. Um, I have on a black blazer. I have on a black and white bad cop, bad cop t-shirt that says, get rad. Uh, and I have on some gold jewelry from my friends in Metrics Jewelry. Alexandra Beth, and also Etymology Jewelry as well. Uh, if you were at the Wavies, Etymology was actually one of our in-house partners. If you get something really cool from the Wheel of Schwag, probably came from her. All right, we are uh, wasting no time jumping into quick picks, so uh, let's get to it. My first pick of the week belongs to Philadelphia-based singer-songwriter Anika Pyle with her song, Blame. I'm doing the best I So 
the song is this beautiful reminder to just be gentle with yourselves. Um, we've all been living through just straight trauma and just a trash ass almost two years. So take it easy with yourselves, give yourself grace, and uh, we're going to be okay. So my next pick, pick of the week belongs to the ladies of Bad Cop, Bad Cop themselves. It's their song community. a fantastic ode and love letter to your local music community. Over the past year, we've seen the best and worst of people, but honestly, your community and the tribe you surround yourself with are the ones that will probably be there for you and come to bat the most. Um, Lynn from Bad Cop, Bad Cop also has a really awesome organization called Basis Against Racist, where each month they print a shirt um, of a different basis in the scene or the industry be it Chris number two from Anti-Flag, uh, Eloise from the Linda Lindas, and all the proceeds from those shirts go to different organizations like Black Lives Matter, Stop Asian Hate, Reproductive Orgs, and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, this month, they have two reprints, Lynn's shirt and Eloise from the Linda Lindas, and uh, those shirts honestly make great gifts. And my final quick pick of the week belongs to Brooklyn homies and punk darlings Fat Heaven with their new song and music video for Tarantula. So, if you needed an excuse to not smoke too much weed at the dinner table this week, uh, Tarantula is your cautionary tale, um, or else you might hallucinate an anamorphic spider that might kill you. Um, The song is also part of their new double EP, or split EP, if you will, with with their homies and Trashy. You can get that on Spotify now. Um, And uh, that does it for this week's Quick Picks. I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday week. Eat all the good food with your family. Curse out some racist family members if you have to. Get your booster shots if you have to. Uh, I'm Crystal from Scenes from the Underground. Stay wavy and uh, bye! Incredible as always, Crystal. Thank you so much. Wow, this week has been pretty depressing in the news news. We try to stick to just music news, but if you're new and wonder why we're not commenting on the news news, here you go. Rittenhouse verdict. Governor Stitt of Oklahoma deeming Julius Jones ineligible for parole, even though he's fuck innocent. Oh, and if you didn't hear, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian are together, and this is how we feel about that. Lastly, did you see Britney identifying as a person with a disability? Join Ramped Brit. Thanks for watching, and have the happiest of Thanksgivings. Until next time, stay wavy, baby.